In this video, we are going to identify um, the degree of terms and polynomials. So we're going to be talking about like how do you what defines the degree of a polynomial is as you go as you look through this polynomial, you're really just going to categorize it by what is the highest power. Um, regardless of the order of it, you want to dig out what the highest power is on it. And we are going to um, name it by or name it by its degree and then list the number of terms. So all we're looking to say is that this is a degree of four and it has three terms which is going to make it a trinomial but that's it right so highest degree and then one two three terms okay and this thing um just wanted to double check that there wasn't any other higher powers in it three is your highest power so your degree is three and you have one, two, three, four terms. And there isn't really a name for that like there is for this. This is a trinomial, um, but four terms. And then this is tricky. This is a degree of zero. So this is if you had a variable on it, it would have to have a degree of zero on it. So your degree, and that is zero, and there's just one term, which is known as a monomial. All right, and then here, uh, the one half doesn't play any role. This x has a power of one on it, so the degree is one, and it is two terms, which would be called a binomial. Okay, and that's it. So the tricky ones were that some of these are very, very straightforward. You're just looking for the highest power. When you get to something like this, everything has technically this x to the zero. We just never write it, um, but everything would have that sitting at the end of it. And then um, if you don't have a power on it, it's a power of one. Okay. And that was it.